Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at some construction equipment and covering what they do. We're sure you'd love to have some of the later machines yourself, so make sure you stick around to see them. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more like it. First up, we have the Toad Boat Liner. This is a concrete lining system that was developed for waterways. It is used over trimmed canals and trenches. The ready mixed concrete is fed from an auxiliary mixer via a conveyor system. The machine's augers further blend the concrete and spread it equally on the canal. There are different versions of this machine for small and large channels based on the canal's depth, ranging from 42 inches to 7 feet. For the larger towed boat, a diesel power unit is needed for the concrete distribution system. That's along with trucks and trailers to tow these boats. However, a vibration system is optionally available for both small and large towed boats. Next, we have the SBM-180. This machine is a brick maker. It can produce 9,000 to 10,000 bricks in just an hour. Thanks to its wheels and transportable design, it can be deployed anywhere to start its work. It sounds just like a factory on wheels. It can also be powered by either a diesel engine or electricity. The total get set capacity is 62.5 kVA. Moreover, the machine can be operated manually as well as automatically. A wheel loader is required to deposit the prepared clay in the hopper. The SBM-180 offers excellent performance and produces minimal noise while operating. Up next, we have the MP324 Tank Shear from Caterpillar. It is a heavy-duty demolition tool, capable of cutting and ripping up metals, including the thick body sheets of tanks. It is equipped with a new speed booster technology that dynamically shifts hydraulic force from speed to boost mode when the operator is operating. It takes less time for the jaw to open or close, as the speed valve automatically adjusts to fast flow when there's no load. A minimum 24-ton excavator is required to use this attachment tool. Moreover, multiple interchangeable jaws can be used for a wide range of demolition tasks, which reduces downtime. Next is the Eagle 6300. It is a wheel trencher that can dig 0.46 meters to 1.22 meter deep trenches. It offers an operating speed of 8.8 .8 meters per minute. This machine has a six-cylinder 275 horsepower engine. Moreover, a hydraulic motor has been incorporated to power the digging wheel via a head shaft and bolt-on cast split sprockets. Conveyors with reversible drive are available for either right or left conveyor discharge. Also, sensors, adjustable supports, and cross-slope controls make it possible to have automatic steering and elevation control. Up next, we have the offset vibratory roller attachment. It lets the host machine stay safe on a flat surface while working on road shoulders to compact the soil. Unlike self-propelled compaction machines and drum rollers, this attachment does not need the operator to be in an inclined position. It can be used with skid steers, compact track loaders, and road graders, all of which have standard or high-flow hydraulics. Drums are available in three different sizes, ranging from 2 to 4 feet. These drums work best for compacting topsoil, crushed stone, gravel, recycled materials, hot and cold mixed asphalt, and limestone. The drum's angle can be rotated up to 30 degrees, allowing for uninterrupted access to slopes beyond the road shoulder.
Next, we have the Cymex Art. It is an asphalt restoration solution designed to rehabilitate road surfaces with a depth ranging from 5 to 7 centimeters. Unlike some other technologies, it utilizes existing on-site material and assures rapid road drivability just after processing. After milling, an eco-friendly chemical additive for cold regeneration of hot mix asphalt granules is applied. The last step for the operator is to compact the surface. At this point, the damaged surface has been fixed, and the damaged stretch of road can be used the right way. Next, we have the Screedsaver Max Plus from Ligchai. This is a high-tech screed machine that is guided by a laser and can place concrete accurately yard after yard. It has a working width of 1.9 meters. It is powered by a 24.9 horsepower 4-stroke gasoline Honda IGX 800 engine. It comes standard with a 2D laser that can handle slopes and dual slopes. For contoured concrete pavement, a 3D system is also optionally available. It has a 5.2 meter long boom and a 3 meter wide screed head. This device can be operated wirelessly using a remote controller. A regular pickup truck and trailer will be able to transport it just about anywhere. Next, we have a unique machine that is used to form road shoulders. It has a storage bunker that is filled by a truck that drives along the rollers of the paver. The conveyor system then transports the material to the verge area via a conveyor belt. Using a screed that is up to 2 meters wide, materials such as mineral combinations, concrete, or asphalt can be loaded. It is operated electrohydraulically by the load sensing hydraulic system of the tractor. In the back is a plate compactor with a force of 80 kilonewtons, widths ranging from 700 to 990 millimeters, and an optional water sprinkler. Attached to it is a sweeper that cleans the road. Originally, customers were dissatisfied with the plate broom's design, which was then substituted with a 60 centimeter wide sweeping roller. With this combination, road shoulders may be constructed at a pace of around one kilometer an hour, while using just six to eight liters of gasoline. Up next is the Stair SGF-1300. It is a trench cutter attachment that can cut 350mm wide and 1300mm deep trenches. The weight of this unit is 4,615 kilograms. It can be used with any tractor with a power rating ranging from 240 to 360 horsepower. The attachment to the carrier is mounted using a globally standardized three-point hitch. The milling wheel is equipped with hard metal picks that slice through stone. Even in harsh winters, when the ground is frozen 60 centimeters deep, it can be used without any problems. Direct drive via the PTO shaft transmits enormously high torque to the cutting teeth with relatively little power. It is more powerful and more economical than a traditional self-propelled cutter.
last but not least, we have the SUG35T. It is a path maintenance system designed to renovate forest and gravel roads. This system consists of two units, a grater and a compactor. The grater has folding rippers that help to rip up the uneven path. The grater blade is then utilized to flatten the surface. Lastly, the compaction unit compacts the soil. This system is designed to be used with 150 to 200 horsepower tractors. It provides a working width of 3.5 meters. Compared to conventional machines, the SUG35-T with carrier tractor consumes 50% less fuel. Here it's being shown as it travels along a 25 kilometer long road with an estimated maintenance cost of 20,000 euros with a standard machine. The Stair SUG35-T completely renovated that road in just three and a half hours with minimal cost. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.